Good evening, folks. What is going on? Welcome back to another Wednesday live stream. Appreciate you all being here. Appreciate you all hanging out. If you are here as part of the replay, jump down below and say hi or leave a comment or say boo. But if you're here watching live, jump over to the live chat because there's 11 of you here now and um, appreciate each and every single one of you. So I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're just doing the usual, opening up some Pokemon cards, answering some questions, just hanging out, um, doing the giveaways, all that jazz. And it's been a couple of busy weeks, which we've been talking about over the last few weeks, but even this week in particular. I've actually been uh, out today doing a road trip for Backpack with Vic Kids. We drove up to Wangaratta and back and dropped off. I think it was 73 backpacks and uh, got back around 4.30. So I'm actually a bit, a bit tired. If I'm a bit slow today, that's probably why. But everything seems to be working fine. We're all here live and ready to rumble. So if you do want a chance to win something tonight, just some Pokemon cards, um, this is the link. And for members, there is a members giveaway. You can jump over to the community tab on my uh, YouTube channel. You can just click on my face or whatever. You should be able to go there. And uh, if you're not a member, you can join. You can become a member if you would like. There's no pressure to do so. Usually you just get more access to some additional giveaways. Otherwise, jump into the public one and have a chance to win some Pokemon cards. And uh, let's see who's here. Who's uh, early bird today? We have, well, it's one of the Anthonys. It's not the usual Anthony, but it is Anthony. Evening, Chris and everyone. How are you doing, sir? Thanks for being here. We also have Drew in the house. How are you doing, Drew? Folks, Drew does these really cool streams usually every uh, every Monday, actually. He does um, streaming of him doing his clothing uh, when he's taking photos and whatnot. He actually did a full eight-hour stream on Monday, which was just... <clears throat> that's a, it's a lot of effort, man. Kudos for that. Um, but really enjoying those streams, mate. Keep up the good work. And, folks, I encourage you to go check it out if you haven't seen them. We have Ashton in the house. How are you doing, sir? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Hope uh, your Wednesday is doing well. We have Sandra in the house. How are we doing, Sandra? And there's Second Hand Gang, the other Anthony, hanging out. He uh, debuted in the uh, video today, if you didn't check it out, at 5 p.m. It came out from the video of me going to the wholesale place and... Sorry, it wasn't the wholesale place. It was a vintage place. And also, uh, I did my first private pick. And Anthony was also at the uh, wholesale place or the vintage place uh, getting some stuff as well. So thanks for the, um, well, the invite, buddy. Kevin, how are we doing? G'day, mate. How you doing? <laughs> and pizza tonight. Love it. We had uh, we had chops. We have Wendy in the house. How you doing, Wendy? Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Santu, what's up? Hi. How you doing? Someone switched the eBay switch today. Best day in three. That's what we love to hear, mate. Love to hear. It. It's actually been pretty average today. Nothing crazy, but I'll, I'll take it. Um, I actually did hit a new milestone today, but it's now dropped down below. So hopefully tomorrow in my video, or sorry, when I film for my video tomorrow, you'll be able to see that new milestone and it will carry into the new week as well. So just a bit of a, I guess a bit of a cliffhanger on that one. Hey, short-term lurking. How you doing, Jason? Thanks for being here, buddy. Appreciate you. No worries. You do what you got to do, sir. Howdy, howdy. All right. So, yeah, if people have questions, by all means, please ask. I have had a couple of questions come through Instagram. Tonight, the cards we will be opening up for you guys to chance to win is we've got um, for – how much have I got? I think I've got three um, public giveaways. We've got Paldean Fates and Obsidian Flames, um, one pack each. So there's three of those to go. And then there's a double up for um, members. I've already made the packs up. So And there's a few, obviously, little secrets – or surprises, hidden gems in the hit pile as well. And hopefully next week I'll have some more variety of cards coming through. Um, they should be all making their way this week. All right, we've got a few more people jumping in. We've got Johnny Boy Francis. How are we doing, sir? Hope you're doing well. Taking it easy, I hope. And we've got, oh, Forest Finds Online. He just had another video come out. Hope your new uh, job is doing, going well, mate. It's um, always good to stretch ourselves and try new things. And I know that's what you're doing. So good stuff. Um, um, I've noticed actually in the last couple of weeks, there's been a lot of uh, thrifting videos um, with a lot of the similar terminology or, or thumbnail saying, is reselling worth it or is thrifting worth it and things like that. So very interesting. I feel like there's a lot of people feeling that at the moment, just because, you know, maybe we're not picking up lots of bolos or anything in the, in the shop. But my, folks, if you want to see some pretty cool bolos that get found, Forrest finds online. He finds a lot via his... Um, well, he's just his random picks, usually after he works. So good good stuff, mate. We have Kerry in the house. How are we doing? Waiting for my win tonight. Oh, Jeepers, confidence. Love it. All right, all right. 
We have Mel, and do we have Otis as well? How you doing, Otis? Hello, gang. Got to get the truth out there. Oh, well, that's true, mate. I mean, I, I talk about it all the time. That's why I don't rely on the thrift, right? I mean, I've, that's why I do a lot of my wholesale and trying to get into some of these other different op opportunities and the consignments. And um, I love the thrift, and I do that because it's, it's fun to do, but it's, you know, I'm not going to pull out a thousand items from the thrift, am I? Um, maybe if I was thrifting full time, if I went to a thrift eight hours, a day for five days a week, maybe I'll pull out all the stuff that I need. I'd have to travel a fair bit. It'll be a lot of hard work, but for me, you know, I just like the the nice little hunt there. And I actually haven't been thrifting for about three weeks now. Uh, so I haven't even gone to my locals either. So yeah, it's a bit, bit, bit behind, but I've been so busy in the business and my third storage unit is just full of stock. So I'm really just thrifting straight from that, just picking what I want to list when I want to list it. Uh, so it's been busy a few weeks. If you guys haven't catched up on the the vlog videos every Monday, which there's been some really great feedback on those. So thank you, folks. Um, that's really just documenting the day-to-day -day of what I've been doing. And we do have Otis here. How you doing, Otis? Make sure you jump into the um, the public giveaway, buddy. Chance to win some goodies tonight. We do have the, um, should be the pinned link there. Jump in there. You might have to get mum to help you there, but we do have some giveaways as well tonight. Been good, mate. Couple of days off sick and started always some cards to list up so I can buy. <laughs> it just makes sense, doesn't it? Um, well, I hope you hope you get better soon, mate, or um, you are feeling all completely good now. But uh, we do what we got to do, organizing some cards to list up some more. But I am um, to purchase some more. I actually got some cards of my own. They're not here yet. And they should arrive tomorrow. So um, maybe I'll share a bit about that next week. Um, but I might, I might keep some, might sell some, maybe I'll even sub, add some to the hip pile as well. How How is everyone else going? How's the week been? How's um, March going for everyone? March has been pretty, pretty good for me, actually. We've seen some pretty high level of uh, volume and some good revenue. Profits is still a bit of a struggle, but, you know, and paying two staff and obviously took on the new storage unit as well. So does make it a bit of a challenge, but uh, loving every single second of it. It's really good. It's um, basically just a full-time problem solve, right? You know, you it, it's it's almost like a, I wouldn't say it's a video game because it's real life, right? But you, you're jumping onto different things. You're leveling up. You're trying new things. You're learning more about yourself and you're trying to take on new skills and all these different things. I mean, it's, it's just like, <laughs> I shouldn't say it's an RPG because it is real life, right? Like that's what you're trying to do. All right. Let's answer some questions. I've got a couple that have come through via Instagram. So I'll get onto those. And then if people have other questions, more than happy to answer. And then we'll we'll get into some of the giveaways. And yeah, you know, don't don't feel shy to ask questions. Um, I know some people, they don't like to because they think, oh, maybe it's a silly question, but more than happy to answer anything. Um, so, but if you're here lurking, that's okay as well. So I had first question that came through was from actually Christian. Christian, I appreciate your, all your questions each week, mate. Um Usually it's food related, but not today. You actually asked, how did I meet Carla? Um, I actually met Carla via work, where I was working before doing um, this business. Uh, we worked, well, she still works there, but um, in consulting, technology consulting, uh, professional services more so, IT background. And yeah, met her via that. And yeah, that's that's really the story. <laughs> it's just via work. Uh, so yeah, hope that answers the question for you, mate. Jason has said he's seen an okay start for March. We've been quiet. My own lack of focus as well. More, yeah. But have seen an increase in sales. eBay appeared to be offering some good. Yeah, they, they've been offering quite a lot of good um, deals, actually. And I've been, um, I, I don't mind the coupons getting coming through and using it. I have been doing some of the self-funded ones where it's like eBay does 17, sorry, does like 5% and I have to cater for 10% or something like that. It's not too bad because usually I'm sending out discounts anyway of anywhere between 10 and 20% anyway. So it's not too bad. I just did see a big one that's coming through for the start of May or June. And it's a 22%. I have to fund 12% of it. It's not too bad. I think it's pretty good. It entices them to people to come through and spend money. So what more do we want, right? I mean, people buying our stock. No, no you don't need to be sorry, mate. Like, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, even better, right? I mean, we want that. And I think last week and the week before, I've seen that volume come through of extra traffic coming through, which probably leads to the next question. Do you pay to advertise on eBay? So I do do um, promotions. I do do promotions anywhere between 6% and 9%. 
depending on the categories. But my rule of thumb is usually I list things and try and leave them for anywhere between 24 to 72 hours before I put any promotions on them. Let them sell by themselves first. Uh, and then I start to add in some of the uh, promotions. But advertising, I have tried external banners once. Um, I did get a bit of traffic, but it, I didn't get a return on investment on that because I think I only had one click through and one sale. Um, but I am starting to experiment with a bit. I've got a few other plans to do, do a bit more of that, but I really haven't been focusing on it because I haven't needed to because I've been having more volume and more sales than I ever have before. It's also because I've been listing more and I've also been getting different stock and things like that. So at this point in time, not specifically, but I am doing the promotions. Actually, here's the coupon running eBay funded too. Woohoo. Oh, really? <laughs> I wonder why eBay are pushing collectibles. Yeah, I, I think obviously they want to probably make their platform the place to be, the place to go and to feel safe about it. Um, that that would be my my thought, Drew. Um, and it makes sense because, you know, they've been pushing very hard on obviously sneakers and handbags and Pokemon cards. Collectibles in general would be then that, that next broad space plus it's good money one of my items doesn't appear to be just complex but i have thought around your question yeah interesting but i think it's probably is it's obviously it's a it's a big area alternative investments i mean a lot of people are looking at collectibles because they're collecting people are doing it as alternative investments um and then there's people selling it like myself just because i know it's quick money so there's a, it's, I guess it's a whole little nation ecosystem in its own. I mean, that's honest perspective, right? Hundred percent. You know, like eBay probably makes five to ten sales off one type of item because someone buys it, might flip it, might hold it, then come back and then sell it, um, which is obviously going to be very good for eBay, reoccurring revenue in that sense. Yeah, maybe. I think I think there's some really good um some really good uh, banter here, like some good thought about it. Do you list faster on PC or phone? Hundred percent on PC, but now I don't I don't do my listings. Well, sorry, I I do send them live, but my lister is doing the drafts of those, doing eighty percent of it, and then I'm sending them live. But oh, it's always been PC. When I started, I started by um phone, but I was having a lot of Wi-Fi issues, so I stopped um doing it because it would just be too laggy but pc 100 i have all the photos uploaded by dropbox and they just drop and drag yeah um the next question i'll just jump to while we're chatting to drew just before do you ever get questioned when commandeering the walkway so i think what um he is referring to i'll see if i can bring up a picture here actually um so for those that don't know spoiler alert i did get a third storage unit and I actually was able to move the third, um, the third one next to my current two. Uh, in my video from last week, it actually wasn't like that. I actually got the opportunity to move it just on Monday. So spoiler alert for next week. But I'll bring up this photo. Let's see if this is going to work. There we go. So as you can see here, um, there's three units now, and. I usually actually have stuff all the way out to basically all of this. And you'll see it in the video next week. Um, but I know I, I've never, I've never really been questioned about it. I have had the manager come down. They've put me in this corner for this very reason. As you can see where I'm using the power and they come by, they have a look sticky big. They don't, they're not fast. I have had someone come in once to use the small little unit, which is in this back corner just here. But that's only been once in, I've been here for a year in this corner for a year now. Uh, so mm, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. Actually been in that one corner longer than a year now. And other than that, no, I've never had any issues, no complaints. And to be honest, most of the time, the people that are coming, they're usually coming after four or on the weekends. There's not many people there through the day, through the week. Hey, we have extraction in the house. How are we doing? Hey, Chris and team. Hope all is good. Thanks for the cards. You are welcome, sir. Glad they arrived safe and sound. The reason I asked is I had a guy with six gigantic photocopies plugged in right out the front of my unit yesterday and took me 10 minutes to navigate all the way. Six gigantic photocopiers plugged in right out the front of my unit yesterday. Yeah, so 
I, look, I think there's a level of, obviously, we need to be mindful of those around me. If someone comes, I'm going to make sure they can get in. I said, do you need more space? Do you need, what do you need, right? Because I don't need to have all my stuff out and I don't try to have the stuff out because I don't need to. But I think when we think about it, you know, it's it's an open walkway. So if people come, they have rights to be where they need to be. Um, I think that's pretty unfair because I'm not operating out in the hallway. Like I've got my three units and I go between them and I have a trolley or whatever. I mean, everyone's going to have a trolley and that's fair game. But I don't think having, you know, six photocopiers plugged in out the front of yours and blocking yours, that's that's not, yeah. And I'm trying to make sure I'm doing nothing that is going to make someone complain because if they complain, it gives a reason for someone to not want me in here. Um, and I've got a good gig at the moment. So really doing everything in my power to make sure everyone is feeling the love and has their space. So... Um, Good question, Wendy. Is there a way to identify if clothing is vintage? Look, I mean, the, the basic way to answer this is 20 years on clothing is usually vintage. So 2004 would be now classified as vintage. But there's obviously a bit of wishy-washy around that because these this day and age, there's a lot of people just putting vintage as a keyword because it has that vintage wash. Um, so... I think we need to be super careful with it when it comes to t-shirts like tees single stitch usually did suggest that it is um single stitches basically on the sleeve it's just been got a single stitch not the two double stitch uh that would indicate that it's potentially vintage but sometimes people still make stuff that has single stitch um the other way to look at it is maybe types of tags it sometimes has got the labeling on it it's got the coding on it which actually has the dates on it like vintage jeans, like Levi's, they have code stamps on them to tell you what dates they're from. Um, but it, it's a really good question. And these kind of questions will vary depending on what you're selling in the in the clothing space. Uh, Drew would have a good insight on this as well, probably better than myself. Um, even Christian has some really good insight on it as well. Uh, so there's probably a few different ways we can look at it. But in short, I hope that answers your question. But yeah, reach out to Forest Finds or reach out to um, Drew and they'll be able to help us. I mean, you can reach out to me too. I can do my best to help. Seems like they were running a business out of their extensions cables all over the place. It wasn't too impactful, but it was just a bit, you know. Yeah, so I think I think this is what we need to be mindful of. Like my storage unit knows that I'm running a business out of it and been very open and very transparent because I don't want any surprises but I've also made, they've made clear and I've made clear that if people are coming, I'll make sure that I'm being mindful of it and I'm not going to be interrupting people's flow coming and going because that will then impact, you know, the person's review and experience of Storage King. And if Storage King isn't happy, sorry, if a customer isn't happy with Storage King, so Storage King isn't feeling happy, well, of course, then it's going to play back on me because I'm now making disgruntled customers. And the reason why I say disgruntled is... The disgruntled octopus is here. Super dry vintage is my favorite vintage label to look out for. Vinny's put the vintage. <laughs> ah, uh, Octo, you're a funny guy. Yeah, but that uh, look, you got to have some respect, right? Like, I mean, I run a business. I don't have things in the way. Got to be super mindful of it. Got to be super mindful of it. I understand sometimes we need to pull things out to move things around, but. Um, we always need to be being mindful of others. There's no point trying to stuff up other people because like, if you wanted to Drew, you could complain, right? And that could be, you know, something that pushes the overline and reason for them to get rid of that guy. I'm not saying that's what you should do, but that's the way I look at it is I don't want people to be getting annoyed or frustrated by the way I'm doing things. The good thing is where I am, if you're looking down, because I'm at the very, 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 very back, you can't even see my lights on if you were to looking from the elevator. So people don't even know I'm there. Um, and there's not many people coming down here because the ones opposite me are just like little wardrobes, mm -hmm. like the wardrobe size. So it's a very minimal, minimal reason for people to come. Thanks for all the emojis, folks. Having a bit of fun there, I see. Hey, we got Dave in the house. How are we doing, sir? Thanks for being here. I love everyone mm -hmm. saying hi and hello and sharing the love. Appreciate you all. All right, we're going to get into some of the um, the giveaways. Let's do it. I mean, if you're here, let's do it. Hey, Justin, my man. How you doing, sir? Hope you are doing well. I believe you weren't feeling too well. Hope you are feeling better and doing okay. Hanging in there. 
quick question. How have you handled no contact negative feedback? Oh, easy. Go straight to, um, hang on, I can show you this. Um, remove feedback on eBay. There's a section for this. Um, it's, you know, not a big issue. They, they're very good. We'll do public giveaway in a second. Let me just um, bring up how to get rid of feedback. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Where is this? Um, oh, where's the link gone? Um, feedback profile, seller help. Yeah, so you can go to seller help. I'm going to bring this up. Sorry, Dave, just grabbing this for you. Okay, so... If you go to seller help, I'll put this here and I'll share screen. This is seller help. And if you go request to remove feedback, right now, I don't have any here, but if you did have one, um, there's, there's none here. Actually, I can't even, I can actually look at the status. I'm probably got to be careful with this. I don't really want to show anything that I, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I won't show any customers because that's not fair. But if you go to there, the link, and basically you can select the reasons why it wanted to remove. And the key thing that you want to be calling out is um, wish to request negative feedback because customer has not followed policy. And these are the reasons why. We offer free returns. The customer has not reached out and actually just left negative feedback. If they had reached out, um, you know, we would have been able to provide them a refund or a return, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, this all has to meet what you actually do. Um, but what I actually do is before I hit submit is I actually send an e uh, a message to the customer and saying, hey, we've seen you received, um, you've left negative feedback. It's disappointing that you weren't able to reach out to us in advance and see if we could help you. We would have loved to be able to help you. Um, sorry that it didn't go as planned. You know, whatever message you want to say. But I would send that message before I actually submit, submit of request to remove feedback. And in the request to remove feedback conversation or message, I actually say, I have tried reaching out to the customer, but have not had a response. Um, and usually if you're, uh, you can't BS this stuff, right? Like it has to be legitimate and have the reasons of why they're against policy and why you think it should be removed. Because if they didn't follow policy or if they're abusing the policy or if they're, you know, just leaving feedback without actually opening up a return case or asking for a return or anything like that, well, then they're, they're abusing it, right? They're not doing what they should do. Then you put that into the message, into request to remove feedback, and usually you'll get it removed. I hope that answers it. It was a bit tangled. Let's go public giveaway. Yep, we'll do that. Uh, not feeling well at all, whatever. The, oh, jeepers, mate. Take it easy. Don't make me. Don't, don't make me. Don't make. Anyway. Don't have to hang out here, mate. If you want to rest, take a nap, whatever, go for it. But if you love being here and hanging out, then by all means, please look after yourself. Have you had to adjust your fundraising goals for this year considering your business growth? Um, yes and no. I was actually chatting to the Backpack of It Kids CEO today saying we've got to catch up and figure out for the year. I will be changing it a little bit. I won't be managing the funds this year because we got over $10,000 last year. I've wanted to make sure that that's no longer going to be going via myself because it's quite a large amount of money. Um, and now that I'm a bit bigger, I need to make, and you know, I'm now 3000 subscribers almost. And I just wanted to make sure that money's going by them hundred percent. So we're setting up how to make that happen and we will be going for a bigger amount, of course. Um, but we're working on doing that in a leveraged way better so that it's not as um, heavy reliant on me to provide things on a day to day basis but hopefully get a little bit of funds that we can play with to, you know, basically turn that money into some bigger money. So that's the pitch in short. Um, but I'll be working on that over the next couple of weeks. And the idea is we hopefully kick off before the end of the financial year, and then we'll finish up in September as well, or around there. We, look, we might keep it going. We might even have the idea of having an existing, uh, like an ongoing existing one, but the campaigns will run on a period basis. And then if people want to top it up on a irregular basis they can but more on that to come and it's a, it's a good question we'll be aiming for more than what we did last year we did eleven thousand last year it'd be good if we could do 15 or twenty thousand dollars this year have done a reply and they refuse to return the item for the refund yeah so look i i think they're not following policy to be honest because if you offer returns 
and refunds and they're not following it, then, you know, they're, they're obviously just trying to get a money grab, right? And I think that's against policy. But go, go through that tool, have a read, and it'll give you some examples. Um, I think you should be able to do it. Hey, Aussie Down Under Gamer 2. Christopher, how you doing, sir? Thanks for being here. Ooh, I got some goodies to send down. I like that. Last year, Johnny Boy Francis did send a bunch of goodies that helped us make some good uh, fundraising opportunities. So I'm, I like the sound of that, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. If anyone else wants to get involved, I'll be doing a bit more of a formal conversation about this. Uh, probably still could be four weeks away. Um, but yeah, if any people want to get involved, by all means, reach out and I can, you know, we can have a chat. Yeah, I'm good, mate. I can't complain. Can't complain. All right, let's do a public giveaway. I'll get the first one ready and we can, I'll continue to answer questions if people have questions. Just going to keep the ball rolling. We are on nine o'clock being mindful of everyone's time. Public giveaway for the first spin. It looks like we've got 25 people jumping in. Love it. So we'll get that ready. Uh, here we go. Here's the first spin for the public giveaway. Um, actually, make sure I did actually put that correct. Public giveaway. Yeah, 25. Good. Um, all right. Here we go. Good luck. Everyone, the public, number one. And oh, oh. Ledbetter has won. Magic for the night. Love it. And oh, I can see someone's just jumped into the chat. Super excited to see you here, sir. We have. <laughs> it's, it's a very random name. CHP Dodge Monaco Australia. Howdy, Chris. It is your favorite old man from Instagram. How you doing, sir? Appreciate you, buddy. Thanks for dropping by. How you doing, man? Hope you've had a wonderful day. It's um, I've actually been out. Um, I don't know. I don't think we chatted about this when I when I saw you, but I volunteer for a place called Backpack for Vic Kids every Wednesday, and we've actually been there. It is here. We've actually been up at uh, Wangaratta today, and um, we did a big drive. So I'm a bit bit tired if I'm a bit slow today, but. Uh, we're just opening up some Pokemon cards for some of the uh, public. If you want to jump in there, there is a pin post if you're into the Pokemon stuff. Um, otherwise, uh, sit back and relax and enjoy yourself, sir. All right, let better. We'll get into this for you, buddy. They're actually one of our regular winners. Please do send through our PO box. I do have some stuff that... Um, oh, your PO box was going to do it last time, but PSA were running like... Wow. Wow. Okay. No, I can do that. I can do that. I'll, uh, I'll drop you a message later, man. Thank you, sir. Yes, they get donations from Gold 104, 100%. I think last year they did they did crazy amounts. They did crazy amounts. Um, via this YouTube channel and the Instagram community and the reseller community, we actually did $11,000 last year. Um, and this year, mate, we're going for hopefully 15000 to 20000 A bit more details on that to come in a few weeks. We were literally just talking about this before you jumped in. I, didn't, I don't know if you saw that or heard that. But um, yeah, I, I've been there for, this must be my fourth year now. And every year I do a birthday charity live stream where basically we open up Pokemon cards and leading up to that, we do raffles each week or we do giveaways to raise money for the Backpack for Big Kids. And, you know, a lot of people go away with some good stuff. Last year we did a Switch console. Um, actually, we did two Switch consoles and a bunch of Pokemon stuff. And this year, hopefully we'll be doing some really exciting things, really exciting things. So um more on that to come. All right, Ledbetter, let's open up your pack, mate. First pack magic for you. We'll start off with some Obsidian Flames, and then we'll get into the Paldean Fates. Um, let's see what we can do for Ledbetter tonight. All right. Mr. Bronzer kicking us off. Here we go. We have Snubball. We have Capsicid. We have Drillbird. We have Charmeleon, we have Excadrill, Pidgeotto, Dartrix, Finizen. Oh, nice little start there. Good job. Did I see Puppy Dog Diary earlier? I feel like I missed Puppy Dog Diary. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't think I saw a, a hello from... Ah, oh, there it is. Hi, Puppy Dog Diary. How are we doing? The reason why I felt bad is because... Um, 
usually usually you're excited to see all these Pokemon cards and I couldn't see your chats coming through. And I'm like, was she here? Yeah, you were. How you doing, Puppy Dog Diary? Sorry, I missed you. All right, nice little hit there. Well done, they better. Let's get into pack number two. And the way this works for anyone that's new here is basically we open these up. I send them out to you for free, no cost to you. Um, if I don't have your details, if you've entered the form, I will get, obviously, you know, your postal address. I'll send you an email within 24 hours and send them out to you. Just a bit of fun. Um, just a way to give back. Just hang out. Yeah, I actually haven't been opening too much myself. I have actually been, um, I don't have them in front of me. I've been buying a lot of singles for myself. I might grab them in a second. Hang on. Oh, this is Paldean Fates for Leadbetter. Here we go. So nice little Pikachu there. We have a Moonlit Hill, Atticus, Domfan, Tandymus, Tandy Mouse, sorry, Moonlit Hill again, and no, oh, nothing in there, but you did get a hit, sir. Well done, Led Better. One of our regular winners, actually. It's all by chance, of course, but hey, never a dull day. All right, get that into a sleeve for you. I'm just going to grab something to the side, folks. Give me one second. Puppy Dog Diary was eating chippies. Chippy, chippy, chippy. Actually, haven't had many chippies lately. That's okay. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. So I've been actually buying up um, a few singles for my own missing sets and things like that. So I've had a whole bunch of these come through. Um, got this one, Zapdos, some basic energies, Nido King, uh, another basic energy, um, Got this little guy from uh, that was for Brilliant Stars, I believe it was. Um, Lua module also got um, like his V Star, Brilliant Stars, Chilling Rain, um, another Chilling Rain, Brilliant Stars, Brilliant Stars. Um, that's oh, I got this guy the Blaziken V Max for Chilling Rain, Chilling Rain, uh, Brilliant Stars, Brilliant, yeah, basically all the same. Pokemon Go. And a nice little Charizard EX there as well, which was for, um, what was that for? Anyway, I think that was for Scarlet and Violet. Um, but I've now actually, I think there was one more card. It wasn't there, actually. I don't know where I put it. I've actually now finished, I think I finished uh, Vivid Voltage. I'll actually have to double check that. I think I finished it. Hey, Chris, is eBay your only selling outlet or have you tried other stuff? So at the moment, it's purely only eBay. I do do a little bit of wholesale, um, which is obviously off eBay. And um, no, when I started, I did do a little bit of Depop, but I haven't got back into it. I do want to get onto some other platforms, but really with the growth and getting things in flow, I just haven't had the time. Um, but I've got some longer term plans on those, but I really just haven't had the just the time and effort and focus and attention to be able to give to it because I've had to put my time, you know, to the things that have been happening on the day-to-day -day basis. Uh, but no, I don't, I don't really have any insight on this side. Well done. All right, let's do um, packs number one and, I mean, two for um, the public giveaway. Let me just add in all the newbies that have jumped in. All right. Here we go. All right, we've added in the extra person. Only one more person jumped in. So this is number two for the public giveaway. And we have, oh, there we go. Wendy, Wendy, my dear. Jeepers, Wendy's actually been winning a little bit too. I think Wendy won the other week, didn't he? Yeah, you did, because I sent you that other stuff as well. Well done, Wendy. Living the dream. Tiger. I remember when Wendy, I think Wendy still has the biggest winning streak. During our campaign, Wendy went wild and uh, Wendy went wild. Um, and uh, you were winning things every left, right and center. Well done, Wendy. And then she would donate them back to the stream and we'll re-spin and lots of people were winning. It was great. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll have a lot of that coming up in the later in the year. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wendy went wild. Uh, um, have you seen the upcoming Pokemon digital card? Yeah, I have. I have. It's. I'm very curious about it. I think it'll be very interesting. 
I'm curious to know if this is going to be something that they're doing for a long-term play. Um, obviously, I think that's what they're going to test it with. And it'll be interesting to see if they then um, bring in transactions, micro transactions on it or monetize it. It'll be very interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to get on board. Um, it, there was a link that came out. Drew, if you can get the link and put it in the chat, that would be great. It would mean a million bucks to me, mate. Um, there was a video. They dropped a trailer on Pokemon Day. And I think it comes in the end of this year. So it looks pretty interesting. Hey, we got Dion in the house. How are we doing, sir? Long time no see. It's been a while. Hope um, hope you're doing well. No, I never got into it because it was going to take up too much of my time. So my short answer is no. All right, let's open up uh, Wendy's stuff, eh? Let's go, Wendy. Wild Wendy. <laughs> uh, I have a little four-year-old friend that I'm collecting. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Love it. All right, we're kicking off with Chaldean Fates for you tonight, Wendy. And then we'll get into Obsidian Flames. Mr. Clubberpuss. We have Varun. We have Friggybax. Whimsy Scott. We have Scrafty. Electric Generator. A little Pikachu. Not too bad. <laughs> wow. That is a beautiful card. And I'm pretty sure that's like one of the, that's one of the top cards. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm pretty sure this is one of the chase. We're going to look this up real time. We'll look this up real time. Jeepers. Um, what are we? Two, three, three of 091. Yep. This is a $179 card. That's incredible. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, there's a, there's a, that's, that's, someone's got it listed at that. That's not sold. Um, but I'm going to look at the latest sold. Someone's got 115. Okay, this is, it's a bit more realistic. Let me just share screen. Um, but we've got 105, 110, 115, 110, 119. Way to go. Well done. Well done. What a beauty indeed. That's the third best hit. There we go. Boom. Wendy. Uh, the, it, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's, you do good things and you're rewarded. Well done, Wendy. Yeah, sorry. I'll get a close up. Sorry. There we go. Um, there we go. Beautiful card. All right, let's see if she can top that. Maybe she'll get the Zard in the Obsidian Flames. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? Jeepers. If anyone can do it, it'll be a oh, Wendy. Come on. We can't be doing that. We, we, we can't have people giving me cards every week. I mean, it will go straight to the collector's shelf. I mean, Extraction gave me one last week, and it's now sitting on the collector's shelf, and I can send you a photo of that. Seriously, if you want it, you can sell it, right? I'm not going to sell it. It will it will go into my collection and it will be a sentimental token to me. But if you want to sell it, right? Like, let's see if you get another banger. <laughs> uh, everyone will want um, Wendy to be opening packs for, th for them. Oh, okay. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. You got the one hit. Oh, Wendy. We'll have a chat afterwards. We'll have a chat afterwards. Um, it's a beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful card. Well done, Wendy. Wendy is very nice. Um, Wendy is, she's one of the, the silent heroes, I think. I think a lot of people don't realize how much Wendy did for the the live um the charity stuff that we did last year she did a lot of stuff and helped out a lot so very grateful for wendy one of the unsung heroes we'll have a chat wendy like i don't want to be i don't want to be you know here taking cards i will take the card to add to my collection but i, I don't want to set that as a you know a thing um but i know wendy 
you know, we've, we've chatted about a few other things. So let, let's chat that off <laughs> offline. Um, oh, thanks. We've got, we've got forest finds online wanting to take it. <laughs> Thank you. Extraction. Uh, it wasn't even the full collection, actually. Swap for the hip part. I, I could look now, if she's going to give it to me, I'll put it in my collection because it becomes a sentimental thing. Um, but, uh, you know, if, if, um, she wants it and she wants to do that, that's up to her. Nah. <laughs> hey, I'm always here to try and help. I've said that from day one, right? Nah, we noticed. I don't know what that is referring to. I think, I think that's the, the, the collection. All right. We've got one more public giveaway and then we'll get into the members. Let me just see who's added themselves. Oh, we've got a couple of people jumping in to the uh, public giveaway. Let me just add you in folks. Two more people. Well done. Good luck. Um, here we go. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's fine. That's fine. Swap it. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Before I spin, um, Wendy, 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 if I'm keeping the card, let's get you something from the hip pile. I think that's fair. I believe there's 12 cards in here. Pick a number between one and 12, please. Wendy. One and 12, Wendy. Because if I'm going to keep a card, you're going to have something to, you know, to collect for the four-year-old. So let's get you something. Let's get you something, Wendy. Just waiting for Wendy to uh, <laughs> to put a number in. I'm checking all my comments to see where it pops up. I'll have four for my little mate, please. All right. Number four. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, what is this? A mini folder. That is great. That is great. So you're going to love this. This is this is very timely. I just dropped something that I didn't want to drop. Um, so, Wendy, you've won this little folder. Let me make a big screen. So it is actually a, a folder that holds all the big monster cards. Um, I think it's this one. Is it the mini folder? I don't have any other folders. Yeah, this is it. This is the one. This is the one. So that's coming your way, Wendy. So it, that's worked out pretty well. That has worked out pretty well. A nice little exchange. Um, I'm just going to have to... Um, yeah, I'll just make sure I put that in the right spot. Well done, Wendy. <laughs> oh, I love this. It all It all works out in the end, doesn't it? It all works out. All right, let's do the, the next giveaway. You are welcome. 100% welcome, mate. Uh, public giveaway. Just see if anyone else jumped in at the end. Nope, no one did. All right. Let's do this. Last public giveaway, then we'll jump into the members. Good luck, team. <clears throat> and we have, oh, Cozy. I don't think Cozy's won before. Congratulations, Cozy. If you are new here and you've never won before, the way this works is, well, I'll send these out to you. I'll have to send you an email within the next 24 hours and get your, you know, postage details and we'll send these out to you. Awesome, Sandra. Awesome. You are welcome. Um, all right. This is for Cozy. Public. Yep. All right. All the best, Cozy. Huh? <laughs> Your son jumped in. Love it. This is this is starting to become like um, Anthony and, and his crew, mate. Jeepers. It's fair game. Like, there is a rule that, like, for instance, one person can't enter multiple times. But if you've got kids and they want a chance to win, but we've got to make sure it goes to your son. Not for you, sir. It's going to your son. Well done, Cozy. Is, is, do you mind sharing Cozy's name? Is, is it actually Cozy? Like, Stacy Lockman, 
Thanks. Oh, it is. It is. Cozy. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, Jesse. Jesse. Okay. Jesse is well done, Jesse. I'll put I'll put the name there just so I've got it as tagged for you. Um, it's always nice to be able to put a proper name onto it. Well, all the best, Jesse. Is Jesse watching? Let's open this up for Jesse. All the best, Jesse. Way to go. How exciting. I hope we get you something big, Jesse. And if we don't, we'll get into the hip pile. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe it's going to be a Charizard tonight. We've got Mr. Snot Pokemon. <laughs> Cubachu. Cubachu. We've got a Spoink. Yes, I'm here watching from Jesse. Awesome. Thanks. All, all the best, Jesse. All the best, mate. Let's see if we can get you something good. I really hope so. Here we go. I'm nervous. All right. Nothing there, Toxel. No hits in that one. That's all right. We've got Paldean Fates. And if you don't get anything, we will get into the hit pile for you, sir. Let's go, Jesse. All right. Pack number two. Nice little start there. <laughs> Puppy dog's pushing for a Zard. Puppy dog's always pushing for a Zard. Some Fido right here. We have a Haunter. We've got Knee. We have a Nest Ball. We have a Graplocked. Iono. Paldean Student. Annihilate. And oh, no hits. Oh, I feel so bad. All right. What we're going to get you to do, sir, is pick a number between. Uh, let me just make sure this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Um, I'll make sure I shuffled that and didn't put it at the top. All right. There is twelve cards in here, sir. Jesse, pick a number between one and twelve, and we'll we'll see what we can get you from the hit pile. See what we can do for you. Oh, number eight. All right. That was quick. Well done. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's the mini. Seven, eight. Here we go. Oh, a nice little clever. I like this one. It reminds me of Elvis. There you go, sir. Well done, buddy. Sorry we didn't get a pull, but hey, we did get you a card. Always good to get a card. So I'll get them out. Well, I'll just combine them with yours, Lead Better, if you want. Send them all in one one box. Well done. Right, now we're going to get into the members. Well done. <laughs> Love it. Yes, for Lead Better. All right, time for members. If anyone's... Yeah, no worries. That's fine, mate. If anyone's got any questions, we're still answering questions. I'm just going to get the members duck race going. So for the members tonight, we have a total of four packs um, each and three member winners. Um, and we're going to do the duck race and the wooden spoon. So there's there's four prizes, one, two, and three. And then the wooden spoon is whoever comes last in the duck race also gets a, a three pack of cards as well. So there's a winner for every, well, not for everyone, but a good range of people. Um, let's get this just set up. Give me a second folks for the members. Now I always encourage people, and this is obviously a, a bit of a, a fun way to get more people to become a member. But while I'm a small channel, I don't have many, um, I don't have many members. So if you're a member, it's a really good chance to, to win. Um, but I'm just going to get this set up. Um, there's only 10 of you. All right. Let me get the duck race opened up. Mr. Duckies. But uh, you've got to be a member to be in it and probably won't mean that any of the members will, because if you're a member, you have to go to the community page on my channel and then you fill in a form and then that's how you get into the member duck race. Um, so if you haven't done it today, you'll probably miss out because it's too late. But for next week, if you want to be a member, um, by all means, you can jump in and, and, and do that. All right, here are the members. Just make sure I've got everyone. These are the members jumping in. <laughs> oh, I'm going to laugh if Wendy wins again. Um, all right, let's, let's the ducks. We do a total of 
two minutes. Good luck, members. So first, second, and third, we'll get some cards. Well, get these cards that were in front of me. And then um, the wooden spoon, whoever comes last, will also get, um, get something as well. I will answer this question after the duck race. I'll come back to it. All right, the duck race is starting. Here we go. No worries, Jason. You too, sir. Talk to you soon. See you soon, sooner than we think. And um, yeah. So fourth or second last? No, whoever comes last will... Oh, you mean that's what you'll probably get here. Yeah. Um, all right. So let, let's do the, the, the banter on this. We've got Anthony at the front, Mr. Collective. We've got Wendy as a panda. Wow, go Wendy. We have Psyduck just hanging out, purple. Puppy Dog Diaries, pink. Way to go. Kerry's just chilling with the snapback. Jaden's just cruising, just chilling. Forrest, mate, you got dots all over you. What's going on, man? Justin is a Mr. Police Officer. The boy's in blue. Well, actually, black in this case. Oh, no, that's Secondhand Gang. Secondhand Gang is the boy's in blue. Um... Kerry is taking the lead. Kerry seems to do well in these duck races. Justin is Mr. Green. There we go. All right. Jaden's sweeping up in the middle. Paul's just hanging out at the top there. <laughs> Wendy, way too cute. Wendy's just cruising. Jaden's pushing, but we've still got 39 seconds. Puppy Dog is just hanging out in the middle. Oh, second hand gang, you're taking a push. I'm looking at all the chat. The chat's going wild. Paul's sneaking up on the side as well. Here we go. We've got the final 20 seconds. This is where things start to get a little interesting. Here we go. So we've got Jaden pushing up. Psyduck's really trying to hold out. But, oh, jeepers, it's going to be close. We've got 10 seconds. I can feel my heart rate increasing. This is getting intense. Yeah, too early indeed. We've got Puppy Dog sneaking up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Tiger, Wendy's going to win. Wendy's going to win. <laughs> I called it. Oh, jeepers. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. <sighs> She's going to pull another good card, I reckon. All right, let me um, quickly just put the names down for this. So we've got Wendy first. Well done, Wendy. Then we had um, Puppy Dog. So Wendy's one. And then Puppy Dog Duck, which was number two. Well done. Then we've got Second Hand Gang coming in third. Well done, sir. Coming in third. And then for Wooden Spoon, tonight is Justin. <laughs> Justin won last week as well. Well done, Justin. So we'll get the Wooden Spoon for Justin out at the end. I'm going to answer some quick questions quickly, and then we'll um, we'll get into these. Um, just running out of room here. And... Wendy, I don't know what the secret is, but Wendy, you've got it back. You've definitely got it back. All right, there we go. So that's all that. Let me just answer some quick questions. So um, we had an uh, old mate here ask, what was my favorite item from our recent pick? So for those that have watched the video today, I actually took you through the, the pick. I didn't actually film the second time I went to the pick um, just because it was a long day, but I um, I think some of the fun stuff, to be honest, it's it's very hard, man. Like, I really enjoy doing the books because that's that's originally what I started with when I was reselling. But, I mean, the clothing's been great. There's been a lot of cool and interesting things in there. But I think um, the, the fun stuff has actually probably been probably the boxed collectibles just because they're easy to do um, and they're not really things that I have on a very regular basis. Um I still got to go for the trading cards yet because they're going to take a little bit of time. But the Dungeons and Dragons stuff has been cool as well. Um, oh, dude, it, all of it's just great. It's It really is. Um, it's very hard to pick. The Lego was good too. The Lego was... Oh, man, it's just... I mean, what can I say? I'm, I, I like your collection. Can't wait till you want to downsize again. <laughs> uh, jeepers. When's your Pokemon Fun videos coming? I, I think I get ISIS every week. So... Um, there is a high chance that this will be sooner than later now because based on the video content that I've been doing on the Mondays, 
um, my, my weekly vlogs. I'm probably not going to have thrifting videos after this week for a while because I haven't been thrifting. I haven't been sourcing because I've got so much stock. So I'm actually thinking that next Wednesday might actually be the first Pokemon fun video. Um, so I've actually got to do a bit of work on that to make that happen, but it could be as early as next week. It could be as early as next week. How are you finding researching and listing the trading cards from the research? So, um, Justin, I haven't actually got into them yet. Um, I'm actually waiting for my supply of um, top loaders and, and sleeves to come through before I get into that because I just want to make sure I'm storing, storing them correctly. But, yeah, I haven't got into the detail of them. I think I've done maybe one or two things of um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that I got in my last haul, which I haven't shown on video. And I've got some other cool ones there, which maybe I'll do a video on that to talk about a bit. But I um, haven't got into them yet. Yeah, it's a it's a quiet one for you tonight, Mr. Anthony. Well done, Wendy. I'm just catching up with the chat, guys. Wendy Magic. Wendy, yep, Mr. Touch. Quack, quack, quack. Hey, last place, Aim Bear for this race. Well done, Justin. Yes. The Kirk T was the best by far. Yeah. So um that that was a very popular one. It um got some eyes very, very quickly. Um, there's been some pretty cool bolos that have gone out this week, which old mate already knows about because we've had a chat about them. Um, and some really unique items, which you guys will see in next Monday's video. So stay tuned for that, folks. But look, a big, a big shout out to old mate. Um, I'm very grateful for that 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 pick that I did. There's been some really exciting things. I've learned a lot as well, and it's also given me a bit of. Um, just a nice little confidence boost for a pick me up for the year as well, just to get stock like that. So you don't get stock like that very often. So thank you, sir. Um, but it's been it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun, and still have a lot to do. All right, let's open up these cards. Let's start with um, Wild Wendy. <laughs> See if she can pull another banger. Hey, P quite possible. Quite possible. If anyone can do it, it's uh, it's Wendy. All right, we'll start with Obsidian Flames. We've got two Obsidian and two Paldean Fates. And then we'll... Um, it's already 9.30. This camera is probably going to drop out very soon because it drops out on the hour. Seems to. So I will have to switch over in a minute. Um, but hopefully... Um, hopefully it doesn't this time. Here we go. Let's go, Wendy. <laughs> All right. We've got um, a Lampent. Gloom. Bronzor. Snubbull. Uh, Mr... I keep want to say crumpet, Lapras, Skirian, Lavesta, Squavit, and okay, no hit in pack number one. Obsidian Flames pack number two. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Obsidian Flames didn't really do the best for us when we were doing this. There was a few people that got some bangers, but it's been pretty quiet. Yes, I did. I'm um, potentially meeting. Uh, I don't think it'll be this week. I've got to message him tomorrow. Um, but if I'm not meeting up with him this week, it'll be next week. And yeah, I'll be making a deal with him. So thanks for the hit up, um, Forest Finds. I do appreciate it. Lechonk. I love a good Lechonk. Flotzel. Whiskash. Kangaskin. Graveyard. <laughs> Mr. Big Whale. And. All right, nothing in this one. All right, too dry, Wendy. Oh, there goes my camera. Give me a second, folks. I'll fix this up for you. Like clockwork, called it. I still haven't investigated it, so I do apologize, folks. I'll get this camera fixed. Give me a second. It doesn't take long. Um, there we go. We're back in action. Woohoo! It's it's like clockwork. Ah, oh, mate, I um I I appreciate it. It it has. Seriously, it's been a game changer. It's been a game changer. It's really been an uplift and given me a bit of run rate just to get things back on track. So I'm, I'm behind my targets for the year because January I was kind of off sick, but this is giving the boost that I need and very grateful. So very grateful. So thank you. All right, let's... Uh, um, oh, yeah, we've still got the other two Paldean Fates for Wendy. Come on, Wendy. Where's all that magic gone? You, you've been on a streak tonight. Let's go, Wendy. Wild Wendy. <laughs> uh, Gasly, Nadine Student, Barboach. We have a Wubat, a Domfan, 
an Atticus, a Meshold. Hey, Golden Go. I've actually never seen that one. Oh, Meshold again. Hey, okay. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it's a hit. At least you're not going dry in that one. Um, where did I put the sleeves? Must have um, what? buried under all the all the bags. All right, we've still got one more Paldean Fates for Wendy. I think she's still done all right. I mean, she's she's done some magic tonight anyway. Um, and then this is Paldean pack number two for Wendy. Come on, Wendy, come on. Paldean Fates is, oh, I think there's something there. Paldean Fates is usually pretty good. Usually pretty good. We've got a Varum. We have a Mankey. We have a Magma. We have a Nimona, a Prime Ape, uh, Artisan, Lantern, Professor's Research. Here we go. Here we go. A very cute little Pokemon. And oh, nothing. Wow, Wendy. You, I know what it is. I know what it is. Wendy has probably passed it all on to the next person, potentially. Which the next person is actually Puppy Dog. So Puppy Dog's going to be very happy to play this game um, and hopefully get all the hits. But no, look, Wendy's still got a nice little whale there. Can't complain with a whale. Is it a whale? Pretty sure it's a whale of sorts. But no, no Mew in that one for Wendy, unfortunately. We'll see. I'll just put this in a little bag for Wendy. Give me a second. Here we go. That team bag just ripped open, so I'll have to refix that. It's all right. Wendy's going to get a nice little stash of Pokemon cards. No worries, Tiger for Life. You are always very, very welcome. Either of the next two peeps hit either of the news. I'm a buyer. Well, Justin. Justin. Is that are you looking for are you looking for this one? Are you looking for this one, mate? I think that's the one Justin's looking for. All right, puppy dog diary, let's go. Here we go. We'll start off with Obsidian Flames. Let's try and get that Zard for Puppy Dog Diary. Here we go. And the alt art. Okay. All right. All right. All right. No pressure. Well, it's not in this one. This is Obsidian Flame. So, Oddish, Swablu, very cute Pokemon. Glimit, Tadbulb, Dragonar, Amaralge, or Rogue, Amagus, Toad School, Winkalone, Greta, I mean, Gita. Okay, Jeepers. We are going dry tonight. Wendy soaked up all the love in the first one. All right, Obsidian Flames 2. Come on, Poppy Dog. You usually hit the big stuff as well. Capsa Kid. Very cute card. Drillbur. <laughs> There's the snotty guy. Ta da! Uh, Spoink. Oh, he's cute. Pupita. Togetic. Statland. <laughs> What is going on? Puppy dog, what's going on? Where's all the hits? Oh, jeepers, this is ridiculous. We should have more hits than this. Maybe Secondhand Gang's going to get them all. Secondhand Gang's had his fair share of good wins on this channel as well. Um, Mastiff. Rolts. Magma. Fido. Very cute. Swoobat. Gengar, Winkalone, Charmeleon, Reverup, nothing. Oh my goodness. Puppy Dog Diary, what is going on? That, that Look, that's, that's true. Secondhand Gang does deserve it. He has paid it forward. Very much so. All right. Mark, Mark, Mark. Mary Cactus, Giving Gal, 
Scraggy, Flittle, very cute little guy or girl. Killer Wattrell, Kalia, Gengar. Hey, oh, we got a little shiny in there. There we go. Wug Trio. Not too bad. I think you've actually got the Wug Trio before. Yeah, Puppy Dog. The names, I'm butchering it. I get it. I'm sorry. I think you got this last time, didn't you, um, Puppy Dog? That's right. So I can never have too many Pokemon cards, can you? There's a bit of fluff on that. Give me a second. I'll just get that off. There we go. I'm not chasing the whole set for Scarlet and Violet sets. Just my favorite Pokemon YouTube. Yeah, fair enough. Close up, please. Woo! Wog Trio. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> You're welcome. And then we'll get this guy sleeved up as well. Hey, at least you didn't go home empty-handed. Not that I would have let you go home empty-handed, but um, we did get you a little, a little shiny there as well. He's doing a little dance. Yada! <laughs> All right, puppy dog, you know the drill. I'll get these out to you. Sorry, it wasn't a, a big banger, but hey, I tried. I tried. Next up is Second Hand Gang, and then we've got Justin. We've gone overtime tonight, guys. Can Second Hand Gang get us the Charizard we've all been looking for? You still there, Second Hand Gang? Just lurking, I'm guessing. Or you may be uh, looking after your child. No pressure, buddy. Just making sure you want to see this. If not, you can catch it on the replay. Ah, oh, you got the Japanese one last time. Right. Yep, makes sense. I've seen that card so many times anyway. We've got Fungus. Pidgey. This is for secondhand gang. Litwick. We have Adratini. Charmeleon. He's shaking. Uh, Excadrill, Pidgeotto, Houndor, Rowlet. All right. Gee, it's a, it's, we're working hard tonight, guys. We are working hard tonight. The excitement is real, but Jesus. We have, oh, look at LeChonk. So cute. I love LeChonk. Take it by little cutie. Gloom. Oh, why so sad? Flamigo. Ronzong. Bertic. Well, nice little Eevee. Not too bad. Barboach. And oh, what? I know um, Puppy Dog Diary, you like Palafin. Jesus. I don't know what's going on with these packs. It has to be in here because we haven't really got any hits. So, like... I do, Justin. I really do. I think I've already got one on its way coming from someone, which was a nice little gift. I'm not going to name names at this point because I want to do a big shout out if I get it. Well, sorry, when I get it. Um, but I will never say no to a LeChonk plushie. All right, here we go. Haunter. If anything, I would love to have multiple LeChonk, <laughs> LeChonk plushies. Noibat. We have Chamcho, Chameleon. Mr. Crumpet, <laughs> Moonlit Hill. We've had that card so many times. Uh, Heat Rotom, Technical Machine. Oh, Nimona, not too bad. All right, we're getting something there for Mr. Secondhand Gang. Yeah, well, Justin, you don't even know what you're getting. Well, you probably do because you've been watching the channel over the last couple of weeks, but... Um, I don't know what you're, you're going to have Paldea evolved. So hopefully we get something in that for you, Justin, but here we go. Last pack magic for second hand gang. Can we get a banger? I hope we can, sir. You do deserve it. Cause you've been, you've been very generous in donating some memberships for people. We've got Whoopa, Mr. Graveyard, Sharkadet, Clobopus, Nimona's backpack that, that goes with the other card. We have Dutch Spun. We have oh, a little shiny Wiglet. That's cute. Another Mr. Crumpet guy. And here we go. Wow. Tough luck. I mean, you still got some hits. You know, it's not, not that bad. I mean, it could have been a lot better. But um, you're not going home empty-handed. 
I actually get, um, I think I get paid by YouTube tomorrow. So I'll be making my next order of Pokemon stuff for, um, for the next couple of weeks. That's what I'm just waiting on. Well done, secondhand gang. You know the drill. I'll get all the stuff out to you. I mean, I can send it to you, buddy, or we can just wait till we catch up. Completely up to you. Um, anyway, we'll chat offline. Basically chatting with secondhand gang every every day these days, um, which is nice. And he actually had a, uh, a feature in my video today as well. For those that don't know who he is. But, um, I mean, the secondhand gang is very knowledgeable. Knows quite a lot of stuff, actually. All right, getting that in there for you. I'm going to have to put this into two bags for you, mate. It's not going to fit in the one, just because that card's a bit too thick. So I'll put these into two for you and get it sorted. And anyway, I'll send you a message later and figure out what you want to do with it. If you want to do it um, as postage, or I can do it as a catch-up completely up to you, sir. All right, that's for the second in gang. Now we're going to get into Justin, and then that's a wrap. Wait, as always. <laughs> Mini me will enjoy. All right, so this is now for um, for Justin. Let's see if Justin can actually bring home all the the dollary dues, all the big stuff tonight. Um, hopefully, because it's been pretty... Well, I mean, Wendy did really well. Um, but we haven't had a lot of volume, have we? It's been kind of shy. But if anyone can do it, it's Justin. I mean, Justin's the Pokemon guy. Excuse me. A bit Getting a bit tired. It's been a long day. All right. Here we go. Chuckadet, Relor, Tad Bob, Friggy Bax, Raichu, Gothy Tal, Arctibax, <laughs> Tinker Tink. That's a cute little card for Puppy Dog right there. Uh, we got Fukoko. Very cute. All right, Mimikyu. First pack, not too good. Can we get something in pack number two? Can we get something in pack number two? We've got a combi. Little combi, not too bad. We have a Jigglypuff, Mr. Giraffe, Tropus, uh, Pass, Passy Mayan, Corby Knight, Surviper, Harry Cross, Faulkner, and wow, what is going on? All right, what 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 do we got? What do we got in here, guys? What are we calling? I know I know we can say the big stuff, but jeez, I hope we just get something that's a hit. I mean, otherwise you'll get into the hit pile, so there's still a chance you'll get something. Um, but mate, sorry, it's been a bit rough, hasn't it? Working hard tonight. All right, here we go. Last pack magic for the night and for Justin, it would seem. Whoopa. Hop it. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. We're going for I don't know. That works. I think that works. That's fair. Gold card. You'll take that any day, right? Nice. Well done. I don't think he's worth much, but hey, a gold card's a gold card, right? So can never complain to have a gold card. Well done. So well done. That's worth it. There you go. Ta -da. It does look nice, doesn't it? Not too bad at all. Well, Justin, you you close shave, sir. Snuck in. Could be worse. <laughs> Could be better. Um, all right, Justin, I'll get these sent out to you. So you know how it works. That works for sure. Everyone likes a bit of gold. A hundred percent, man. You've done well with that. I mean, you can't complain. You got the wooden spoon and you got a gold card. So, jeepers, living the dream. All right, folks, I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna go. Um, oh, what happened here? Hang on, let me change my face. There we go. 
I'm going to go have a shower, take some rest and um, get ready for tomorrow. We've got to, I'll, I'll just give everyone a bit of insight. So for me tomorrow, tomorrow is my usual kind of just photo day. Um, I've done all the heavy stuff that I had to do for the start of the week. Tomorrow, I'll just focus on getting photos done for the non-clothing items. And Friday, I think I've got another pickup for a consignment and things like that. So lots of things happening this week. Never a dull day. Um, we're tracking pretty well. I wish everyone a really great week, halfway through the week, but the rest of the week. And appreciate you all hanging out. I appreciate the support, the love, the encouragement. Not to me, but just across to each other in the chat as well. And Wendy for the for the love and the donation. I'll, I'll put that into the um, into the collection and I'll, I'll send you a photo. Appreciate you all. Have a wonderful evening, wonderful night. I will reach out to all the people. I'll try to remember. And um, yeah, take it easy. Look after yourselves. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, next week. We'll do it all again. Ciao.